In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to log into Niwa and start a test. So to find the link to get to the Niwa sign-in, if you click right here where it says Educator Links, and then right here is Niwa, click on that. And click Continue here. Your username is your first initial and last name. And then put in your password. If you forget your password, you can click get username and password right here. And it will ask for your email address, and then they'll send you a reset. And click Submit. Once in the NEWA site, over on the left-hand side, you can see where you can manage your students, manage the test session, or view reports, which would be your results after the NEWA has been taken. To start a test, you're going to want to click Manage Test Sessions. And then the easy button right here, click Test My Class. And it will load your class right up. Now another thing is Mr. Hewlett's account, we actually did a setup, so we, I can show you that one after. But once you have put in your students, you want to select the status and do all awaiting students, and you want to assign them a test. The two choices for the grades that we're working with are you want to do the map, math 2 to 5 Common Core, or the Mac Reading 2 to 5 Common Core. I'll just choose one. Click Assign. And then up here, this is what you would put on the board for your kids. The test session name is fixed 6032. So they would put that under the test session name. And the test session password they would put in it would be 4240. When all the students have tested, you want to click End Test Session. Once students have signed in, then you're going to see right here to be confirmed, and it'll have all your students that have signed in and the number of them. You'll have to click Confirm Now, and then their test will begin. Before you start their test, though, you'll want to read the instructions to them. Now going back out, I'm going to end this test session. If you want to rename the test session so you can use it again, you would do that, save, and exit. I'm just going to delete the session because Mr. Hewlett's already created two sessions. So instead of doing test my class, if you've already saved a test session, you would click here, show. And so Mr. Hewlett already has one for math and one for reading. So you would fill in the bullet for the one that you've already created and click test now. And it's already set up. He has math all set up for students so he did it ahead of time. He also customized the test session name so they can put Hewlett M and then their test session password. This will change every time you go back in. And you can use this test session for your students January and you can use it also when you test again in the spring. And then if you are testing three times a year you could also use it for the three times. Once you've done one year with your students, obviously this is all going to reset for the following year. Then you have to make this over again.